Solid fucking silver. It's dope. What up, dude? Welcome to It's Just Music. <laughs> this is the guy that gathered with me for anybody that sees this fucking video. Fucking tent uh, inspection. My beard got ripped out by a dog two months ago, so starting over. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That was the last time I got to gather, bro. Like, that's fucking sad. We made it. We're home. I got fucked. <laughs> I got hey, fucked show me your butthole. Right <laughs> he looked at me like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he did. Hey, you're missing some buttholes. <laughs> oh, we got some buttholes. <laughs> that was Don's ass, wasn't it? That was Don. That was Don's butt cheek. Butt cheeks. Ha. <laughs> oh, man. I caught like nine bass today. I'm, I had a good day. But they were a beautiful woman and caught nine fish, bro. It's been a great day. You disappear. You're quiet. Yeah, I can't hear you at all, homie. Oh, it's because I muted my mic and, and I'm stupid and didn't unmute it. <laughs> but, like, what, let, let's get to this Kid Scraven <laughs> shit, man. Uh, what, what do you think about this Kid Scraven shit? I know we have a difference of opinion on a few things. Uh, I just think he's a fag for dropping out and not coming to the gathering anyways. Like... People throw stuff out of love and out of hate. You just got to fucking dodge that shit. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Is what it is. <laughs> I've yeah, throwing glow me, sticks and gummy worms and all kinds of shit at motherfuckers when they're performing, whether I right, like them or not. <laughs> he said in his post that uh, he's not scared of uh, piss bombs and, and fucking shit like that. It's like, huh? Bro, I got hit with a piss balloon. Uh, the last year I gathered with you, I was tripping balls sitting in my chair, and I got hit in the back with a pee pee balloon, bro. It was fucking gross. I was mad. It happens. You just grab a fago and fucking. I picked up a warm shower. beer and hucked it back, bro. Just fucking. <laughs> I ripped the top off a warm beer and just threw that shit. <laughs> like, is what it is. Yeah. You know, the juggalos are the most crazy people on the fucking planet. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for anything there. You know? Uh, at Whoopstock in 2018, bro. These fools were launching balloons at main stage from the hill, and they were hitting the soundboard and shit. They were fucking everything up. That shit was funny. I had them on the show in the past. You know that, right? You know what I'm saying. And a lot of jugglers never saw that. Yeah, bro. It is what it is. You know. Yeah. Like Yellow Wolf. You know <laughs> yeah, saying? dude. That's, an, that's <laughs> a, a really good example. Yellow Wolf came out and he. He was getting hated on. And he took that shit like a champ. And now he's a, he's a fucking juggalo legend. Everybody gets hated on, bro. It's just a how, matter of how you roll with it. So, and a lot of times the hate isn't even real. It's just people clowning on you for jokes. Right. Like, right. <laughs> like, I'm like really, I'm really disappointed in the dude. It's like, dude, you understand that 75% of the people that's on the internet talking all this shit don't even go to the gathering. Like, I don't think dude realizes. Uh, like, technically, I don't even matter. My opinion's shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, mine too. But got a job a month ago, so I'm kind of. It is what it is. I'll be there next year. I'll be there next year for sure. If I can find six hundred dollars, bro. If my homie paid me the four hundred dollars he owes me right now, I can make it out there with my fucking car. I get good enough gas mileage. I just need four hundred bucks. That's a ticket, and that's that. gas there and back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my mom told me the other day that she went to the doctor for that fucking thing on her ass. So when you're holding it, uh, is it still there? Is it is it getting better? Oh, uh, fuck, dude. I forgot that that handle was still on there. That's from the fucking uh, First Amendment Auditor podcast and shit that I've been, I've been on on here. Fucking, uh, yeah. 
that's still there from that. That's funny. That's really funny. Holder of your mom's cheeks. <laughs> I like it. Uh, fuck, dude. That shit Making was funny. Up. I forgot that that was even there. Like, what are Make you talking about? Up. Your mom's butt for? <laughs> like, uh, well, if you're gonna take make the joke, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it accordingly. You know what I'm saying? It's there on the bottom. It's all small. I can barely see it on this tiny ass flip phone I got, bro. Like, why? Well, I probably fold it, and you can see that there's my phone. Like, the phone I'm recording on. You're looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> That's funny. You got like a this thing's tip if you're making a sex vid, bro. You can just fucking fold it in half and just stick it underneath you and just fucking go, bro. And it's there. You know what I'm saying? It films for you. Built-in tripod. Two different nice. kinds. You know what I'm saying? No, I recommend I it, bro. Spot. These these galaxy these galaxy flip phones, bro. Like they're tits. I won this device from Steve the DUI lawnmower guy. Shout out to Steve. The vape. It's for weed. Like watch. Well, I gotta fix mine. You got a glass lock glass top on it, so you can put it on a bottle. Yeah, and it comes with like one of these. Oh, tits. Put Push the button. Nice. Shit. I don't have mine loaded properly. My seahorse broke, so I've been using this as a fucking cart holder. And then uh, I haven't been able to afford anything really good here late, but I got this. And then my, I got like 18 dab rigs that I don't fucking use anymore. They're just sitting on a shelf downstairs. So, like, shit. Go sell them. I'll end up using them again eventually. I've just had so much fucking flour from the last last harvest last year that like I'll probably gonna be set on weed until the end of next year. So probably need to plant next year. So I don't fucking run out. Like fuck. You don't piss me off, fucking thing. No, no, is it not gonna work for you or what? No, I just have it loaded with stuff cold, bro. That it's stuff. You probably shouldn't put in one of these, but do it anyway. See what happens. Let the magic unfurl. You know? It doesn't want to work. Yeah, but somebody asked me to fucking do a live and state my opinion on the shit. And I figured, who not better to do it with than Mr. Tent Inspector herself? I got a, I got a 30 day ban for calling him a fag for backing out. <laughs> I can't participate in groups for 30 days. Oh, big whoop, Facebook. Fuck. Right. And it wasn't even in a group. It was Homeboy's fucking post on his page. Like, how am I going to get People banned cry. from groups when I didn't even post in a group? People cry about that word way too much. It's just fucking word. Calm the fuck down. I, I put stuff in my butt for fun sometimes, too. Like, whatever. Like, I'm by. I'll say fag until I'm dead in the dirt, dog. I'm from the 90s. I got to get a finger <laughs> in my ass every few years. So Everything's a fag, bro. <laughs> I got a fag right here. Look, we got all this faggotry going on in, in the world right now. There's <laughs> a fag. That yeah, is a fag, indeed. I'm gonna light my fag. I remember when I went to the UK for the first time, and I was so confused when people were walking up to me asking me for a fag, bro. I was like, "What the fuck are you asking me for, dude?" <laughs> I didn't know. Didn't know at all. And then I figured it out real fast. Oh, that a fucking I got wait a minute. These fucking things, things ain't bad. Ooh. Ain't bad. They hurt a little bit at first, but then you get a straight buzz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, kind of like boofing acid. Stupid fucking internet. Definitely do not recommend boofing acid. Look at this. Remember this? You like that? Okay. Yes. Um, and what I just, I, and people, when they put me in horror court, I, I don't mind that term, but I just feel like my music's nothing like theirs, man. It's just a whole different sound. And I, it's hard for me to get on board with that. And that's no disrespect, but it's just, it's just, 
I feel like I'm in my own category. I'm mixing trap. I'm mixing a lot of things in with my shit. And, uh, so it's hard for me to put myself in a box because I, I I'll, I'll make a horror core song as you guys would say, uh, tomorrow. And then the next day I can make some like fucking club R and B type of record. I, I try to be very versatile. Um, because I'm very, I am bipolar. I, I, I do have a lot of shit that makes me feel different emotions every day. One, one minute I'm fucking angry as hell and I want to kill the world. And then the next minute I'm in love with a girl I just met on the fucking internet. You know what I mean? I'm very, fucking <laughs> okay. um, so it's hard for me to just make horror or just make love songs or just make hypey songs. You know, it, it, I have to make, I, I make music based off moods and I, I have many different moods all throughout the day. So it's, I, that, I think my music reflects that. So I, I, it would be hard for me to put myself in just a horrorcore box. I definitely think I'm horrorcore heavy um, because I, I my music is very dark because my mind is dark and my everyday life is pretty dark. So I, I think the music reflects off that. But um, but yeah, man, I, I, I let the fan I make the music and then I let the fans and the people decide where to put it, man. I, I don't I don't decide that. That's up to you guys. And I, I love you guys for it. Whatever wherever you guys want to put me, put me in it. I'll I'll wrap it. So right, we're. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of different levels, and I, unfortunately, I, I find it un, unfortunate. Lit, unfortunate, even being a juggalo myself, that when you say horrorcore, the first thing they think of is ICP and Twisted. I don't like that because there's so many other artists out there that are categorized as horrorcore. And like you said, you might make horrorcore tracks, but you also make all this other music. And honestly, I don't like being put. I don't like putting people in categories either. The question sucks to a lot of people, but hey, it's you know. I asked my people so, what wanted to ask, you know. I have a question for you then. So, would you consider me horrorcore? Honestly, I, I, I don't care what you say. I just want to. I, it depends wondering. on the song. So, um, it on the song. Yeah, if, if you can't, if you're talking about the one that you got eight million views on, depends on the song. Absolutely, that's a horrorcore song. Absolutely. If you're talking about the one, I don't remember the name of it, where you're like in a box and there's lights around you and you're rapping, it's got a horrorcore-ish sound. Not really. Not really even the sound. It's just some of the things you rap about. Like you remind me more of a like Brother Lynch hump, or like Tech Nine back in Absolute Power days. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I, I really wouldn't say you're just full blown horrorcore, bro. To be honest, um, your de- your shit's definitely wicked shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You you talk about the dark side of life. You talk about you talk about what's going on in that brain of yours. And instead of doing those things, I think that you use it for an outlet. You know what I mean? And that's awesome because it helps people like me who also use it for an outlet. Yeah. If that puts it in perspective for you. <laughs> yeah. I just was wondering. So who, who's somebody that's full horrorcore that you would say was fully horrorcore? Full 100% horrorcore? Brother Lynch Hong. Okay. I got to check this shit out. Um, okay. So like every song? Every single some wicked song. Shit? Every single song. Every single okay. one of them. It's horrorcore. Bro, t- he was signed to Tech Nine's label, uh, Strange Music, a few years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, you get you've definitely given me some people to look at, look into. Yeah, that's the point of Sicko and T, man. It's like I'm showing. I right, we're on show eighty something. See what I'm saying? Like this dude didn't even know that he was horrorcore. Ben, I never really associated him with horrorcore. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's different. He always has been. That's why I liked his music. That's why I still like his music. Like, even though he's a fag for dropping out of the gathering. Dickhead. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. I agree. I mean, I agree. Um, Yellow Wolf told us to throw fireworks at him. And, like, somebody nailed his ass and he kept going. So, um, I mean... But I throw gummy worms and glow sticks and shit. Like, I throw I've harmless things when I like them. you. If I don't like you, I'll throw fucking beer and rocks and shit. But I'm not going to throw, like, not a huge rock. I'm not going to throw something that's going to hurt somebody. Like, fuck, dude. I'm not a dick. You know what I mean? But I'm going to throw stuff. Regardless whether I like you or not, I'm going to throw stuff. I throw stuff here at every show I go to. Especially metal concerts. Fuck, dude. Like, when King 810 was playing, dude, like, they saw me. They kept, they they saw me throwing glow sticks. They were dodging them. They were fucking pointing at me and shit. Like, I partied with those fools out. It was great. <laughs> like, that shit was tight. <laughs> but no, you just gotta fucking roll with it. Yeah, we're a I, bunch I think... of fucking clowns, bro. We're literally a giant group of clowns, and you're gonna get mad at us for fucking being clowns? Like, come on. He's still got a chance, dude. He can still show up. 
You know what I'm saying? He should. He, does, he fucking should show up, bro. He should show up he and should perform too. anyways. I think he, he should, should, should just he should just do it. Like I wish I could be there to see it. Honestly, I really wish I could be there to see it. I got fucked, but like it is be, what it is. I I'll think be there that'd be year. even fucking cooler because like now all this drama and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then nobody would be expecting him to show up, and then he shows up and it's like, whoa, and he rocks it out. That'd be fucking dope. Like, that would be tight. It'd be tight. Like genuinely. Like he's been fucking offered. I don't know how many times and he's denied it. And then he gets off he gets like fucking and then he just I don't know. But it's a little frustrating, like from a fan's perspective, but like at the same time, like he can make his own decisions. He's a grown man. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I understand it. I get the world's crazy and all the hate. You know what I'm saying? They're juggalos, bro. <laughs> you get a giant crowd of us all intoxicated together, half naked in the heat. Fuck. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> he's afraid he's going to be like, next tequila or something. Nah, not even that bad. No, dude, we didn't even fucking do riff rap that bad. Like, we wouldn't do him that right. bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for real. That, that girl was being disrespectful as fuck on stage. You don't even see half the shit that was oh, said on fucking that. Fucking dude, I threw turds at Tia Tequila, bro. That shit was a good time. <laughs> I was there. You gotta have the boot full of shit. Wild. She finished her set, though. Bro, she finished her set though. <laughs> like respect to that, dude. Right. Getting pelted with all that, with all of us booing her and shit, bro. She finished her set. <laughs> Come on. Respect it. Hey, you know. All right, man. Oh, oh, no, like, even our bodyguard was like taking most of them shots for her, but like fuck, dude. Skits, bro. Oh, you see this, bro. in the head injury, bro. I remember that shit vividly. Bro, Skits, if you see this fucking it's video, vivid. you still got a chance, dude. You should still go, bro. It's only a few days It's away. all love, dog. Okay. I fucking love you, Skit. You just got to fucking show up. I wish I could. And show up to, uh, and show up to fucking Clockwork. Like, fuck. Show up to Clockwork E's fucking tidy whitey fight, too. That shit would be fucking great. Like, for real, think about that shit. This shit would be Bro, fun. I wish I could make it for that. I want to be there for that so fucking bad, dude. Like, if I end up getting enough money, like, I'll probably be there second day. If I get enough money in the next couple of days, I'll be there second day for sure. <laughs> like, fuck it. But not, that's if I, I get the money. If I get enough money to get gas to get out there, I'll be out there. I all I need is gas. Like, I literally, all I need to gather hours. is gas, dude. If we fix it by then. Like, I just don't want to sell any fucking, I don't want to sell any of my shit to go gather, dude. Like, I want, I'd rather fucking keep the stuff that I have. I don't want to sell that shit because it's important. Like, no, Fuck, I, man. I got responsibilities and I broke them back. That's why I ain't going. I got to move and a bunch of shit, dude. Like a bunch of shit came up and I lost my job. Like it's just a bad time. It's just bad fucking timing all around. So, well, but it is what it we'll is. I'll be there next again. year for sure. We'll see each other again. If I'll be out there next year for sure. We'll both I'm going to be driving that fucking piece of shit right there. Look at that thing. <laughs> I'll be driving that fucker. Beautiful, bro. Hey, tent inspector. Yeah, tent inspector. Um, <laughs> since we're not inspecting tents this year, there's probably gonna be a lot of fucking craziness going on. You know, people getting away with fucking lots of sex toys that's not appropriate for the gathering. You remember the public flashlight, bro? What? Dude, they're, like, they're, you remember the, flash, you remember the public that, flashlight a couple that, years ago, dude? That thing was used and it was nasty, bro. I don't know who fucking touched it, but somebody touched it. So I walked by and it Batman was dripping, suit? bro. It was gross. You in the Batman suit with the big cock? That guy? <laughs> Maybe. I didn't see who did it. All I know is I walked by it and it was dripping. So somebody used it. Uh, it was right uh, before I got there, bro. I was like, ew, who the fuck touched that, bro? No way. I was asking to catch that, man. Note, like that's, uh, LB Sickney making another video for my sickos. 